Hello and welcome to this Lightroom tutorial on how to edit your images for a dramatic black and white look. I've got this colour image, I think it's a good image, but I can make it really dramatic as a black and white image. And the way we can do that is by using HSL colour adjust once it's in black and white. So always best thing to do is click on auto and see what happens because you might like it. That's not too bad, I might come back to that later. I'm going to put lens correction on, this was shot with the Canon. 85 millimeter and 1.8 and actually that's made it quite nice and uniform but I'm gonna take that off there I'm gonna just bump the whites a bit and I'm quite happy with that but I'm, I'm now gonna put it in black and white so I'm gonna go down to here the black and white tab and I know I've got a blue background as you can see and it's actually quite uniform at the moment which is really good so when shooting these type of images shoot against any color background and you should be able to replicate this and I'm going to drop down the blue saturation so it's gone quite dark that's all I can really do from there I'm going to go to um, brush and exposure and I'm going to put auto mask on and I'm going to just lower the exposure of the blue background which is going to now look black so I'm going to do this quite roughly make my brush bigger here all over so that it's a black background so also it becomes black back a, back a black background in black and white let's go around here on here interesting thing is the model I the model I'm working with has a black hat on so just going to darken that a bit more until we've got I turn um, clipping on so I can see what we've got let's do a little bit over here get that in there and then that's fine so this blue means it's all gone to black so I'm going to close that so if we looked at the color image it would just look very dark and a bit weird but as a black and white image it looks fine and what I'm going to do I'm going to drop the blacks a little bit more I quite yeah, I like that whites have been bumped up quite a lot and in the histogram I've got a nice spread and to make it more dramatic I'm just going to play with the tone curve give it a nice S shape I like that what I could do is I could just raise the blacks up like so so they're not exactly black and you see a nice gap on the histogram so everything that was on black has been raised up to make it more dramatic still I'm going to really increase my clarity um, let's have a look about there I'm happy with and I'm going to add some more clarity to the hat and the clothes so I'm going to do that. I take auto mask off. So I'm going to add more clarity here. More clarity to the hat. That's good. A bit more clarity around here to the clothes. I'm going to put auto mask back on for this bit. And I'm just going to add a bit of clarity here to the beard, stubble I should say, just a bit of a feature for this model. And I'm going to drop that down to where I'm comfortable with it. So before, after, just a little bit more, I'm going to click done. So that's a nice dramatic portrait that's black and white. You know what? I'm just going to drop these highlights a bit, make it look a bit more real. We've gone from a nice portrait against a black background to a dramatic low-key portrait just by using black and white and just by adjusting this black and white mix. So it's only possible to do this when you've got a um, background of uniform colour. I wouldn't recommend it with white or grey because it, it won't work, but anything like blue, red, 
um, those sort of colors green you'll be able to really lower the saturation and lower its black and white value and then take it from there so th thank you very much for watching if you do like my videos and you want to see more um, Lightroom videos or tutorials or Photoshop tutorials have a look at these videos that I'm going to put up at the end of the video and click through if you like them equally subscribe thank you goodbye